So thank you. Thank you all for attending to this evening's town hall meeting. A meeting on one of our country's most pressing problems, our broken health care system. <laughs> this public town meeting, this public town meeting will continue the dialogue we have been having on this important issue. Hello. Paul Erickson from Lockfield. Ask a question. Uh, Santa Rosa, how are you doing? <clears throat> I uh, I came down today because of the issues before us, and and the number one thing is uh, uh, that I was asked to say maybe ask a question: Do we have the best health care system in the world? We do have 47, uh, we do have uh, the number I've heard is 47 million uninsured, but we also, they can, they, we must take under the law everybody into the emergency room. Uh, no one's, I've, I've heard, even heard of lawsuits where someone has not gone to the emergency room and gotten service or, or help. So the question comes in, uh, do we have the most expensive government in the world? Our, our government is spending 50, excuse me, our, our government is spending 50% more than we're bringing in. We're bringing in 2 trillion, spending 3 trillion. No household can do this. No small business can do this. Maybe some of these bigger corporate can do it. Wrap it up. Will you say time? So I, 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 that is my reluctance to turn the health care system over to an inefficient organization, to the inefficiency, okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. I'm not even sure I want to give my name because I'm afraid that a fishy email will go to the White House and that's the truth. My question is... Your name is... Your name is... Pam Lawrence. Thank you, Pam. My question is why it is so apparent to so many Americans, to 80% of us, recognize the anti-constitutionality of this health care and almost everything else this White House is ramming through without legislation. This is anarchy! It's anarchy! Don't take it away from me. Why are you, you act like we don't get this. It's just, this whole thing is disingenuous. They already know what they're going to do. They're going to pass it through reconciliation and then we're going to be stuck with this. And he's going to get political gain on the backs of us Americans. Okay, thank you. Uh, hi, uh, Congressman Woolsey. Uh, thank you for letting me come here and express my opposition. You've got to... Yeah. Hi, Congressman Woolsey. Uh, hi, thank you. Uh, and Your name is? My name is Bob Clagg, and thank um, you for letting me come here and express my opposition to the Health Care Reform Act. I, <clears throat> I live in Mill Valley, and for over 30 years, so we have some deep roots there. Um, my concern is, is that for over 32 years, I've had the same doctor. Yes. I've had... Um, probably seven different health plans. I've never had a lapse in coverage. My health care coverage is something I understand and I know how it works. I've seen the bill, it's a thousand pages and cost a trillion dollars. No one has explained what it does, or is supposed to do, how it works. I actually am a CPA and a businessman. I, um, I run a small business with 92 employees. Uh, Thank you. All, all of my employees have health care coverage, and it's something we work very hard to provide. Let me just, um, 
if someone were to come to me with a plan that said that they were going to spend a trillion dollars to service 25 percent of a market where 75 percent of the market is already satisfied and happy with their health care coverage, I'd say it was bad business. My question for you is, with our national debt, where it's going... I, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, okay. Uh, Ask my, your question my question again. is, with our national debt and the amount of government spending that is, is happening, why is it good business for the government to spend more uh, when 75% of the country is happy with what they have? Why can't we just work on the 25% that need the help? Hi. Um, my name is Katherine Bragg, and I am from Novato, California. I'm also a small business owner. Uh, right now, 90% of the businesses in the United States help support this, this financial system that we have in place. Right. Small businesses like myself. Right. Thank you. Thank you to everybody Hi. out there. This room is full of a lot of small businesses and entrepreneurs, and our concern is, is that we do right now play by the rules, we pay our taxes, and we help out in every way we can by being productive every day. Now, the problem I have is that both sides of the political aisle have tried to put reformation on health care out there for years, and nobody has done anything until today, and now it's being rammed down our throats. Now, I have contacted your office in the past when I have opposed anything, and I get back the standard email that says, thank you for your support. That's a bunch of bull. When I speak in opposition, I expect respect. We've called your office, and your staff has told us that you know best when I oppose it. Now, right now in California, as a small business owner, I could use tort reform. As a small business owner, I could use competition. There are 1,300 insurance companies in the United States and six of them. I can only use six in California. If you open it up to competition, like I experience in my business, competition makes me better. And in the end, I do not try to overcharge anybody. I don't try to gouge anybody. If you let the free market system work, everybody could have insurance. 